Okay, guys, uh, there we are going to have a continuation from our previous exercises that we had, still working or still referring to the periodic table of elements. Remember your periodic table of uh, elements that we talked about uh, from our previous classes. So we are given a continuation, which is number six. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? And what is the atomic number of carbon? So you are not supposed to memorize this, okay? You have your periodic table. So you just check these two that you are given. The first one, they said hydrogen. So hydrogen on our periodic table, it has got an atomic number of one. Remember I said these are atomic numbers that we are seeing there. So meaning to say for hydrogen, we are simply referring to the number that we are seeing here on our hydrogen. This is one. So in case of a hydrogen, it has an atomic number one. Okay, so the question needed you to specify uh, these atomic numbers, all right? So for hydrogen, for hydrogen is one, okay? And the atomic number of carbon, so we also need carbon, and carbon is, if you do not know this, just go back to the, uh, periodic table, there your carbon is. So if we check here, uh, we are going to see that we have got our carbon. So from this introduction, I talked about this, that's our carbon. And what is the atomic number there? That is six. So you take the atomic number. Okay, so it was going to be like that. Uh, if it is nitrogen, it's eight. If it is oxygen, it's uh, it's nitrogen is seven, oxygen is eight, and so on. The fluorine is nine, the helium it's two. So guys, this is how you take your atomic numbers. These are numbers that are just on top of that carbon that you are given. So for carbon, we saw that this is six. All right, number seven, complete the following table. So they we are asked to complete this table by supplying either the name or symbol. So they was gonna write the name or the symbol for the elements listed and whether it is a metal, non-metal or a semi-metal. Okay, hydrogen, the symbol for hydrogen. This is the one that we just talked about right now uh, from this part. Remember, that is where you are having a hydrogen here. So the symbol there is H. And uh, if we take note, hydrogen is not a metal, okay? It is a non-metal. So hydrogen, the symbol there is H for hydrogen. And this one is a non-metal. Okay, then the symbol we are given as Li, what is it for from our periodic table? So remember, this is for lithium, all right? So this is our lithium. Li is for lithium. Here is our lithium. And lithium is a metal. Remember, this is under metal, this blue part here. So lithium, it falls under metals, okay? So that's a lithium there, and it is a metal. Na is for what? Na is for sodium. So this is sodium, Na, sodium, which is also a metal. Look, it is under the blue color, which is the blue here is the symbol. I mean, uh, from this uh, content, it is for metal. So sodium is also a metal. Sodium is also a metal. Carbon, what is the symbol for carbon? This is C according to our periodic table. 
Yeah, we just talked about this carbon. Remember when we talked about this atomic number here, which is C. And carbon is under non-metal. Now, these are non-metals, these ones that we see with this color uh, here that is a little bit this greenish. Non-metal. So, guys, you see this color blindness or color white. But that is a non-metal. I don't know uh, how you're going to refer to that color, but that is a non metal all right so we are talking about a non metal silicon which is si this is for silicon okay and what is silicon is it a metal is it a non metal is it a semi metal okay so for the semi-metals here, we have got uh, this part of uh, non-metal and we've got the part of the metal. Okay, so I want you to be careful there. This is what you are given. And you'll be wondering, so where now, how am I going to know which one now is a semi metal how am i going to know this is the part where you see the one that is the metalloid this one the metalloid means semi metals semi metals these are the metalloid semi metals so if you check there is this color there which is um uh, this part here, it is affecting here. I want you to see the section where it is, this one. This is the color here that we are seeing here, um, which is of the semi-metal, this one, this color here. So these are semi-metals that we are seeing here. These are semi-metals, these ones. All right? These are semi metals these are non this other side as we go this side here these are non metals non non they are not metals semi remember you said it's in between okay something that is in between neither metal neither uh non metal uh, neither metal nor metal so it's in between it can it's not metal it's not non metal so that is where we have this part of the boron, the silicon, the germanium, all these. So these are the ones that follows, or these are the ones that lie under the metalloids, which are the semi-metals. All these that we are seeing, the arsenic, AS, it's for arsenic. Uh, the SB, it's antimony. This one, it's antimony. Uh, then we have got also the polonium, this one. Uh, do not worry about this. So this is the silicon there. As you can see, silicon is under these, um, the part of what our semi-metals. These are semi-metals, okay? So semi-metals, we are talking about what? The metalloids. These are metalloids, okay? So we can conclude that silicon is a semi-metal because you're asked to, to mention, is it metal? Is it non-metal? Is it semi-metal? So we are going to write it as semi-metal. Okay? So that is silicon. Magnesium, you need the symbol for magnesium, that is Mg. And is magnesium part of the non-metal, metal or what? Where are we having magnesium? Mg, uh, let us check where our Mg is uh, for our magnesium. So if we check here, our magnesium is, and these are metals, remember? These are all metals that we are seeing here yeah, yes they can it's a it can be called or given 
a special type that it's an alkaline earth metal. These here, uh, remember I talked about this part here, this one called the alkaline earth metals. But at the end, we are, we are saying metals, metals. At the end, there is a metal that we are talking about. There are metals, these ones, okay? Whether it's alkaline, whether it's alkali metals, but they are metals, these ones. So it's a metal. All right. O represents what? O is for oxygen. So this one is for oxygen. And what is oxygen, guys? Uh, oxygen, that's a non-metal, right? Guys, the oxygen that you breathe in, it's non-metal. Okay? So that is a non-metal. Uh, then we also have the Cl that we're seeing. This one is for chlorine. This is chlorine. Okay? So that is Ri there, chlorine. So is chlorine... A metal, a non-metal or what? Let's check. Chlorine, Cl. So this is here, this side, Cl. As you can see, it is under the section of the non-metals, this side. Okay, Cl, your oxygen also there. It is under non-metals. So this one, it is a non-metal. All right. Then we have got potassium. Potassium. What is the letter? The symbol is K for potassium. And is potassium a non-metal? A metal or what? That is the question. Where are we going to have this? So that is the case for metal. That one, if you check, it is under this blue color here. K here for potassium. That is uh, a metal. Remember, we said all these are metals. There is also a special type of a metal which is called an alkali metal. But for you, for you guys, just know that it's a metal. It's under the part of metals. A boron is given by B, which is this one that we are seeing here. Uh, that's the B that we have here on this boron here. This is your boron. And it is under what? The metalloids. Remember this section I said, this whole section that you are seeing here, this section is for the semi-metal. So boron, silicon, germanium, all these are under uh, the part of what? The semi-metals. So boron is a semi-metal. Okay, so this one, it is a semi-metal. Okay. CU, I hope you are used to this one, the copper, all right? We talk of copper element, uh, and you know this one is a metal, guys, okay? Anyways, let us go back and check from our periodic table. Where are we having our copper? Copper, this is CU, that's our copper there. So if you take this part in white that you are seeing in a, in a, in a white part there, where you are seeing these this copper, uh, they are called the transition metal. This one in white, this one, this is the one that you are seeing. Everything that you see in white, they are also metals, but it's called transition metal. All these in white, the white part that you are seeing there. I mean the white part that the part that is not shaded. There's white, the white, this one. All these they are transition metals. Okay, transition. Uh, metal. So they are also metal. So copper is under that part. That's a transition metal. So copper is a metal. Okay. So this is a metal. So this is what you needed. And this exercise, you needed to know your periodic table. You need to analyze your periodic table, understand it to the fullest. So these are your typical questions that we have from this, we shall have exam questions, typical examination questions, which were written before, uh, so that you see how do they ask, but please just know your basics of the periodic table of elements.
till we meet again.